Afraid of ADHD meds? Here's some stimulant secrets. Shh. Okay, for reals, I'm not a doctor. I can recommend you follow one if you'd like to, the ADHD MD, she's awesome. But as an ADHD professional, I have made some observations and I think they're worth sharing. One, you don't have to take stimulants every day. This isn't like an SSRI that you might take for anxiety or depression. It doesn't build up over time. You take it today and it's mostly out of your system tomorrow. Two, you don't have to take the same amount every day. Don't take more than your prescribed amount, but you can decide to take less uh, of the short release anyway. In fact, if you haven't taken them in a while, you might be able to get away with a smaller dose for a time. You could say, hey, I only need the afternoon dose or I only need the morning dose. Then maybe it's more of an event to really tell myself, brain, we're working right now. Three, properly taken ADHD meds don't really cause addiction. They actually prevent it. Yes, stimulant medications can be addictive, but actually folks with ADHD are more prone to addiction in general. So if we're taking the medications that we are supposed to in the way that we're prescribed them, we're less likely to get addicted to other substances. It's been my observation that folks with ADHD are far more likely to become addicted to depressants than stimulants. The reason it can prevent addiction is because a lot of times addiction comes from a place of trying to fix something that's not right. If we're taking proper medication, we may not feel the need to self-medicate as much. Four, amphetamine salts like Adderall are actually good for driving. In a study, they found that folks with ADHD had fewer moving violations and accidents when they were taking their Adderall. So if you're a teen learning to drive, driving around kids, or planning for a long road trip, it might be worth having an Adderall prescription even if you don't take it all of the time, because again, you don't have to take it every day. Maybe keep a spare in your glove compartment just for safe driving. And five, it is true that stimulant medications are not for everyone. There are non-stimulant medications and there's other treatments like ADHD coaching, and you do not need meds in order to receive those treatments. It's a personal choice. You could take them or not. I just want it to be an informed choice. And again, not a doctor. If you'd like to hear about meds from someone who is, I recommend Dr. Carolyn Parcells, the ADHD MD she will have more information for you. And she's amazing.